If you guys have a small wooden project that you're working on and you want it to last forever, you have to watch this video. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your small piece of wood pretty much waterproof and rot proof for the rest of its life all by using linseed oil. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly apply linseed oil to a small piece of wood. Now, if you're working with a huge piece of wood, check out this video where I go over how to put it on a very large thing. So this, that video is from when I varnished our entire bathroom with linseed oil. This video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly do a small piece of wood. This is the bottom rung of a boat step ladder. So as you can imagine, this guy is in water a lot, which is why we're replacing it. So we're gonna be using linseed oil to properly oil this piece of wood and everything will just be perfect. It's just going to be beautiful. And the best part, linseed oil smells so good. So like the whole process is just glorious. So being dry simply means that all the moisture has been drawn out of the wood, but the structure that was there to pull the fluids through the wood is still present. And believe me, when you put a piece of wood in moisture, it'll just soak it right in and those little tubes, they get working again. When you're waterproofing wood and you're trying to make it rot proof and just preserve it forever, you have two choices. One is to make the outside completely impermeable to water. And the idea is that the inside is dry, the outside is sealed, water can't get in so then it can't rot the wood. But the flaw is that if there's any tiny little imperfection in the outside coating, it's, water's going to get in and now it can't get back out because it's sealed everywhere else. And it's just going to rot really quickly actually. The alternative, which is what we're going to be doing, is to fully saturate the piece of wood with oil. So oil goes in, oil and water don't mix. So that means that oil is already there first because all the water has been drawn out, oil goes in, and then when you put this back in water, well, hey, it's full of oil, so the water can't get in there. So it works beautifully and it just holds up. Now, you do have to reapply oil throughout the years. It's not a one and done thing for the rest of its life, but it's pretty good. Now, it does help to use a naturally rot-resistant type of wood. So this piece of wood is teak. You can also use white oak, mahogany, woods that naturally resist rot, usually because they are very resinous woods, which means that they already have some oils in them that help keep the water out and make them a little more rot resistant. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using raw linseed oil. And the reason it has to be raw linseed oil and not boiled linseed oil is boiled has additives that make it dry faster. And if it dries faster, that means it has less time to get into the fibers and deep into the wood. If you're using raw linseed oil, it dries really slowly, like about a week for it to fully dry compared to just a day. So that means that as long as this is submerged in linseed oil, it's just gonna keep soaking into it and not dry out. So I'm just gonna do a little corner first and show you guys the difference that it makes. It takes on that rich honey color. So that is what we're going for. We want this piece of wood to look absolutely gorgeous. So we're just going to put this in here. I'm just going to not get my fingers oily. Now, wood floats. So we're going to take a glass jar filled with water. We'll just set it on it. And that'll just push it down. And that's it. We're just going to leave it there for quite a while. A couple days. Just let it soak everything into it. This is boring. I'm gonna go do something else. See the ball? You want the ball? Go get the ball. You got two balls.
So it's been in here for quite a while. We're just going to take it out so that way it'll dry off. That's it. It's a very labor intensive process, you know, keeping it in the oil for days and then letting it dry for days. So hard, so much work. Mm-hmm.